The study standardization, application, and implementation of metering, or simply standardizing weights and measure of everything in life, is metrology. And far beyond the simple means of getting the right measure of or measurement for the price we pay, metrology experts say does very well much for us and even our world. On 20th May in the year 1875, 17 nations met and signed a treaty that is known today as the Metri uh, Convention to provide the basis of a coherent measurement system globally. That system underpins innovations, scientific discoveries, industrial manufacturing, and international trade. Experts say it is providing basic measurement, improving a continual basis, our quality of life, and protecting the global environment today. Nigeria joined the world in migrating from the imperial system of measurement to the SI units international systems in the early 70s and harmonized with the world measurement trends. Nigeria's weights and measures act to right the wrongs of measurement is in place. The world, they say, standardize measurements on global basis so that goods and services can be exchanged in uniformity and reliability. National metrology institutes on an ongoing basis advance measurement science by developing and validating new measurement techniques at needed levels of sophistication for global benefit. This edition of Bridges brings to our viewers the importance and impact of metrology in our lives. Welcome on Bridges, we celebrate progress and are building a bridge of standardization and conformity in a sustainable society. And Mujima Kojola. And today, leading the discussion, I have to my immediate uh, left the director at the Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment, who is also in charge of weights and measure engineer city. You're welcome on bridges. And driving within the context of the National Quality Infrastructure Program, sponsored by the European Union and implemented by UNIDO, is the Chief Technical Officer. He's been here. Chief Technical Advisor, you've been once here on Bridges and is back with us today to speak to the importance of metrology in our lives. Dr. Shaukat, thank you. You're welcome on Bridges. And our experts are here, uh, both national and international experts, to speak as we commemorate on Bridges World Metrology Day. Gentlemen, you're welcome. And I feel very lonely. Uh, the <laughs> next time we'll bring more women. Now, why metrology? How do we understand metrology uh, within the context of improving lives and improving trade? I'll start with you, Engineer City. Well, uh, metrology in its uh, simplest definition is a science of measurement. It is a means of measuring what you want to transact on, weighment or counting. They all come under metrology exploration uh, to come down to the layman's understanding of metrology and how it affects the lives and uh, uh, businesses economy and the rest of that is that we all know that from the beginning of your life metrology starts working on you if you check if a child is born, the first thing the doctor does is to weigh its weight and know that it is weighing as so 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 kg at the time of birth. And when you look at it, the uh, medicine you take, the food you take, whatever you buy in the market is measured or weighed, and as a result of that, you pay as per what has been weighed or measured for you. So. When you look at it, the measurement is so important that the economy cannot go without it. Even our uh, domestic trade, external trade, that is international trade that we transact, especially on oil, which is our main base of uh, our economy, it is sold and uh, transacted on measures. So when you look at it, 
the 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 food you eat, the clothes you wear, they are all weighed. I mean, measured in length. So all this comes under metrology. So it's different from metrology, metrology. which uh, which uh, people normally uh, mistake to be a, a study of uh, weather or weather forecast. Mm -hmm. This metrology is just a means of measuring what you transact, measuring what you eat, measuring what you. Uh, handle. Okay. Now, Dr. Shawkat, I'll come to you. Why then is why is why is it a science? Why do you call it science? You know, uh, mythology, and how does it impact on people's lives? Uh, very good question. Uh, basically, uh, it has very significant impact on the people's life as we move move from the micro level to the ma macro level. Uh, for example, if you are blood blood pressure meter that is a measuring meter mm -hmm. if it is not calibrated if it will give you a wrong reading mm -hmm. and based on that wrong reading doctor will diagnose a different medicine for you mm -hmm. similarly the blood glucose meter similarly the pharmaceutical companies if they are putting some certain amount of salt into the capsules into the tablets and those are measuring equipments are not calibrated mm -hmm they will put in a wrong way they will that will impact in a wrong way on the human being mm -hmm. so it has very significant impact on the human safety on the human life starting from medicine starting from uh, measuring equipment mm -hmm. even if you go beyond what about the aeroplane if aeroplane equipments uh, different uh, parts are not calibrated mm -hmm. it cannot fly so this is a significant impact that uh, why the one kg that we are buying in Nigeria as a Nigerian it should be same as we are buying in Europe one kg should be standard one liter of petrol we are paying the money for one liter of petrol so the value for money the consumer must get in the same way as it is getting anywhere in the world mm -hmm. for one liter of petrol. Mm -hmm. So I think it is it is a significant impact on the human safety and security. Okay. It has a significant impact. And uh, how how would you describe the state of metrology in Nigeria today? Well, uh, the state of uh, metrology in Nigeria is not really something to be celebrated very much because it lacks awareness. The awareness in the people is not very much uh, mm -hmm. visible. The, 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 the awareness of the importance of metrology is not very much uh, consciously accepted in the in, in, in Nigerian population. Mm -hmm. And that's why it is the, the, the work of the uh, establishments that carry out this metrology exercise or assignments or, or services as well as the praise and other uh, means of delivering this importance to the because it's supposed to benefit the country, the, the, the people. Even the government should understand more than they do. That metrology is, 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 is actually important for the growth of the economy, for the mm -hmm. economic development. We, we, we agree that we need to move the level of understanding metrology as an impact on our lives. Let, let, let's go to the gentlemen who are also with us in the studio. And any of you can, can take it on. Yes. All right. Metrology, life, impact, state in Nigeria, all put together. W what do you have to say? Let's know you first. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Engineer Obiara Manafa. I'm the director of the National Metro Institute of SON, Standards Commission of Nigeria. And I'm also the president of uh, Metrology Society of Nigeria. So we do have a thank society you. in Nigeria. Yes, you are not making Metrology <laughs> Society of Nigeria inaugurated not too long ago. Okay. Um, from what we are discussing, is it metrology is key to the development of uh, Nigeria. We have the national quality infrastructure. We have the components of the national quality infrastructure. Those components, standards, conformity assessments, accreditation, and metrology. Metrology is key to all of them. Without metrology, none of them will succeed. None of them will you know, move ahead. You see, 
what we are trying to achieve in Nigeria is global competitive competitiveness of the products we are exporting to outside world. Now, in certification of products or system, metrology is key, key requirement. In standardization, metrology is a key requirement. In accreditation, metrology is a key requirement. So with time metrology, none of them will work. And before anybody can accept your product, you must attain the quality. The product must attain the quality required by that person. And without accuracy of measurement, you cannot achieve quality. So you can see the importance of metrology. We have international experts on metrology and um, we'll have them to give us you know, an insight into how metrology has worked and stabilized the economy from where you are coming from. Let's know you. Um, hello, my name is uh, Andy Henson. I'm the uh, director of the International Liaison and Communication Department at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures. So that's the intergovernmental body uh, that oversees the world scientific metrology system. Um, we have about 109 states that participate uh, either as full members or as associates. Sadly, not including Nigeria. In fact, it's really surprising. It's the uh, biggest economy in Africa. Um, and it's actually the largest economy anywhere that doesn't participate in the international system. Um, I hope that's something that will change. Uh, we've heard some very honest assessments of the situation in Nigeria, um, but we see some very good signs going forward. You have new laboratories under construction now. Uh, you have the uh, new forum uh, up and running, the help from UNIDO and the EU. So the opportunity is there for the future, without a doubt. All successful countries invest significantly in metrology. It's about the best investment a government can make. The reasons being exactly as the point pointed out, you invest in your National Metrology Institute and the payoff is across all the sectors, whether it's in manufacturing or your oil or your health or the environment. And even if we think of things like uh, climate change, we make measurements all around the world to contribute to the ch climate change models. We need those measurements to be accurate in every country that they're taken. We need measurements from Nigeria. We need to rely on those measurements. The same in clinical trials. The other thing that metrology gives you, it helps define the size of the innovation playing field. If you can do your measurements better, you can come up with more innovative products that are perhaps more fuel efficient if they're engines or uh, higher performance if they're mobile phones. So it really is important for Nigeria to make these steps forward. It's good to see the steps that are being taken, but there is quite a long way to go. And to start, it's like yesterday, right? And we have Ian here. Yes, let's, let's know you. Uh, hello, yes, my, thank you. My name's Ian Dunmill. Um, I'm Assistant Director at the International Organisation of Legal Metrology. Um, also based in Paris, as uh, my colleague Andy Henson is. And... Um, legal metrology that's another aspect to metrology and this is concern this concerns um, the regulation of metrology so it's not just about using the same units everybody using the same units everybody developing their measurement capability it's also about how governments can regulate the use of those units to ensure a level playing field for trade to reduce fraud in trade um, and provide better protection for the for the consumers in a country so as I've already said, metrology does uh, affect, or legal metrology does affect everyone across the whole spectrum of society, from each individual consumer buying their daily foodstuffs, filling their car with fuel, their electricity meters, gas meters, water meters at home. Um, those are the traditional fields uh, of weights and measures, but now legal metrology is also covering measurements in health to ensure that critical health measurements, even the very basic ones like temperature, blood pressure and so on, are accurate and in ensuring accurate diagnoses. Um, but environmental measurements, as people are concerned now about exhaust emissions from cars, for example, um, regulations on the uh, emissions of cars have to be checked. So you need uh, accurate measuring instruments that are controlled by the governments to uh, ensure that those measurements are conducted correctly. Yes. First of all, we have to understand wh what are the units. Units in the SI units, for example, kilogram is the unit of the weight. You cannot, you cannot buy apple uh, without unit. You have to buy apple in numbers, that is another one unit, or you have to buy apple in kilogram. So the apple in kilogram should be apple in kilogram everywhere in the world. Okay, and that is why, because the traceability of the kilogram 
is there in the world and the NMI has to get this traceability from that primary traceability and similarly NMI has to manage this traceability into the NMI for the country and by the way NMI means National Metrology Institute. Institute. So in Nigeria the NMI is going to be developed in Inogo uh, with the support of SON and uh, with the support of EU funded quality infrastructure project. So we are hopeful that uh, soon this NMI would be operational and the units, I am coming to the units, the SI units, those are coming, those are implementing in terms of liter, in terms of kilogram, even in terms of light, in terms of, in terms of uh, mole, all these units will become then traceable to NMI units. Those, those are the primary units and you can say that now there is a measurement system in the country that is accurate measurement system and this accurate measurement system basically even create the investment. For example, the Nigerian government is very much interested into the uh, uh, manufacturing of the cars. Manufacturing of the cars need a lot of calibration. If the calibration facility is not available in the country, the investor, those have to invest in the country for manufacturing lines of the, of the car units, they, 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 they will be unable to main the, maintain the calibration of their complete plants. It means they have to send those equipment that need necessary calibration outside the country and it requires a lot of time, it requires a lot of energy and a lot of money as well. That is why the calibration and the metrology is one of the facility for the country to bring the investment in the country. Similarly, there are many other benefits. Your scientists cannot do the research. If the scientific equipment are not calibrated, they will, universities will be unable, unable to move toward the right direction. Mm -hmm. They cannot train their students in a right way. They cannot teach them in a right way the good research methods if equipment itself are not calibrated. Their research would not be published globally. So this is a, this is a lot of, lot of uh, benefits if you move from one area to another area, area, you will get a lot of benefits. Yes, we're talking to benefits now and yes. trying to build a bridge yes. towards benefits. <laughs> and, yeah. Well, uh, before I go into that, I would like to uh, point at one thing, the need for government and indeed the citizen to really understand what metrology is all about. Mm -hmm. There is uniformity in the sense of metrology. And that's why all the speakers that are talking are talking in terms of the uh, uh, traceability of measuring standard. Once that traceability is missing in any metrological definition, that means the chain is cut. And that's why the government policy makers should understand that it is not limited to one sector of the economy. When you talk about metrology, particularly the legal metrology, it concerns every sector of the economy. And that's why we are creating this NMI concept, which is being uh, covered by all over the country, all over the world, many countries. And that's why when you are talking about meter convention, it is number of countries that come together accept this as their convention this is the unit this is kilogram and everybody accept it there is a international standard in the BIBM that every kilogram must be traceable to that once there is link there is missing link in that that kilogram cannot be accepted by any other person in the world, in the world. so that's why we have to be really careful how we treat meteorological issues it is an important it's issue. An important issue it, that everybody it, it, it's so understand. strategic to development yes, that we need. There is no option. We no. don't have any other option than to follow it. Now we don't have an option. And just before we go, let's speak to the president of the <laughs> Metrology Society of Nigeria. What are you going to do to fast track metrology and as an uptake? Yes, um, thank you very much. Um, that is why we formed the Metrology Society of Nigeria, because we have identified the gaps. A lot of gaps, very wide gap in Nigeria, and 
the one of the aims and objectives of the MSN is to develop metrology in Nigeria, take metrology to the grassroots. When I say grassroots, I mean to the schools, because we need to introduce metrology to the school uh, curricula, go to the universities. No university in Nigeria is offering metrology as a course. Even the secondary schools, they should know what metrology is all about. The Metrology Society of Nigeria has okay. started work. Okay. We are going to universities, you know, uh, sensitizing them about metrology, creating mm -hmm. awareness, you know. So, um, so we, it's out there for students, but well, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's meet you. you. Yeah, let's meet. Yeah, my name is Bola Fashino. I'm head of public relations for SON. I would suggest that we already have some structures in place. There are standards clubs in primary and secondary schools that are being formed nationwide. Mm -hmm. Let's go teach metrology there. Mm -hmm. Once those children imbibe it, they'll pass it around. Mm -hmm. Once they understand it, the nation understands it. That's it. Catching them young, I'd say, yes. And I'd just like to add, uh, since you're looking for bridges, yes. and uh, that Nigeria is building these bridges in terms of education, but in the, the legal metrology field, there is already the bridge being built in that Nigeria has now become a corresponding member of our international organization. Mm -hmm. And so they're taking that step to participation mm -hmm. at the world level. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, it's only as a corresponding member where they don't have any voting rights, so there's not a right to directly influence the direction of the work, okay. but it is a good start and enables certainly people within Nigeria to uh, learn from the experience of those elsewhere in the world and to participate in that work. That, so that, we're very pleased to yeah, see that, that Nigeria that, is taking that's a good one. that bridge. Yes, yes, Andy. One of the points I wanted to add was the enthusiasm I've seen in my visit here from the private sector for uh, metrology to be advanced. Uh, we, we had uh, uh, a number of, of uh, people from different sectors standing up saying come on we need to move forward with this we need to move quickly with this there was real enthusiasm for uh, the NMI to become established to get the standards there to provide the metrological traceability in country without having to go to the effort and delay of having to go outside of Nigeria mm. and Nigeria is a significant economy and uh, really it deserves a, a good metrology system uh, it will allow you to add much more value in country Th thank you very much. So that's what we've tried to do on this edition of uh, Bridges, uh, bringing value to, to life as it were, because uh, the experts have said it all, that metrology is an important tool that will advance our dream of making Nigeria bigger in terms of economy and in terms of building a healthy herd that would be able also to contribute their quota to the development of the nation. And more than anything else, would also look at graduates who wants to specialize in metrology. I hear that um, it's a big opening right there so that we can start changing the narrative of metrology in our country. I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, gentlemen, um, I hope next year we have more women yeah, coming, <laughs> <laughs> coming to eat. And uh, metrology starts with you. It's about quality, it's about life. So get to know about it and spread the news if you know about it. We'll be back again sometime next week on Bridges. Thanks for watching.